guys. So today I'm here to talk about my October monthly favorites. I feel like the months are just speeding by super quick and everything's getting away from me as fast as they come. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I've been using for a while, not just through the months of October, but let's go ahead and get with some of the stuff that I've been using lately let you know how I feel about them, what I suggest that you might want to try out. All right, so my first product is a face product. So my sister is doing a class for alternative medicine, and she is really, really passionate about not using chemicals on your face. She says you should really totally go towards the natural side of things. My sister does come over, she looks through the products that I have, and she's just like, oh, some of that stuff is just so bad for you. So I took her advice. And I recently picked up a toner. It's from Dixon Original Witch Hazel. It's this stuff here. And I've actually used it for at least a month. And it was filled to the top, but you don't need to use very much of it. So I've been using this as my daily toner morning and night. I wash my face and I'll put this on a little cotton pad, wipe it all over my face. And then I'll put on my lotions and stuff like that and primers and all that then i'll put my makeup on then at the end of the night i'll wash my face put this on again and then put all of my nightly creams on what i've noticed about this i've noticed a complete change in my face which is just kind of crazy because i've only been using it for a little over a month now maybe a little bit less than that but I have this dark spot here on my face and it's definitely fading away. I've used other products in the past and it hasn't faded away, but it's, it's starting to fade away, which is just in extremely insane to me. Also, I've noticed that my pores have gotten a little bit smaller, which is another thing that I'm just like, wow, that is insanely crazy. Um, you know, your pores never really get smaller, but for some reason this makes the look of my pores a little bit smaller. And I feel like my face is just changing by using this. It super smells bad. Let me just put that out there. It's not a very good smell at all. You're not gonna like the smell. I'm getting used to it now. When I first started it, I was just like, this smells horrible, but it works super good. So I encourage you to try this out. If you're looking for something super natural as a toner for your face, this stuff works really, really well. I was super surprised about it. And I do thank my sister for, you know, encouraging me to step outside of the box and try more natural stuff because this stuff actually works really, really well and I'm really pleased with it. This is like $5 at Walmart. Super good, works really well, smells awful, but try it out and see what you guys think. It's the Dickinson Original Witch Hazel and it says Pore Perfecting Toner. So that's what I've been using smells pretty bad but I like it all right the next product of for the month that I've been using is this oil-free eye makeup remover and it's not the one from Neutrogena it's just like the store brand kind in the past I just take like a makeup wipe and take off my eye makeup but I've used this kind of stuff in the past and then stopped using it and then I started using it again and I was just like why in the world did I stop using this this is super easy all you do is again put some on a cotton pad wipe off all of your eyeliner your eye makeup and then you go in and wash your face and it's just it just has made my life a lot easier again this is around five dollars at your local Walmart store and so I encourage you to try this they have a Neutrogena one which is probably about eight dollars this one was like four to five dollars. I think this one works just as well as Neutrogena. I've tried them both and this one pretty much does the same thing. So go with the cheaper brand if you want to, otherwise try the Neutrogena one. But for me, I feel like they do the same. The next item I'm gonna talk about, is Precision Beauty Two Pack Pro Blending Sponges. So I also found these at Walmart. I have another set here that I've been using for the last couple of months and these are like eight dollars. These are amazing little blending sponges. I can only find them every once in a while at my Walmart store. So the reason why I have a second is because I recently found them and I was just like, I'm picking this up. I love these, they are super soft. These ones are my wet ones here, which is the ones I use. So you can see the difference in sizes there once they get wet, but they're so super spongy soft. They're very nice, you can get right into the areas. They blend your makeup very well. So the one that I have here is a vitamin E infused one. This one that I got on this package was a charcoal infused one. I haven't opened this one up. I would assume that it's the same and it works just as well, but if you're looking for a new budget sponge, these are amazingly soft. Once they get wet, they do the job. And as long as I keep on stocking them at my Walmart store, I'm gonna continue to buy them because I think they're really, really good. And I encourage you guys to give it a try. All right, 
The next items that I'm gonna talk about, which I talked about in my last Sephora box, are these Dr. Jarnt products. Oh my God, if you haven't tried Dr. Jarnt yet, you should totally try it. I was speaking to a girl on, I think her name is um, Beautiful Butterfly. She has a YouTube channel and she does like gaming stuff and she also opens and unboxes a bunch of boxes. So recently she told me you should tie Dr. John's foundation in. So I was just like, okay, I looked it up and hadn't ordered it. But this came in my Sephora box and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And so I ended up getting their sunscreen for a trial as well. And these products are super amazing. They're super expensive, but I encourage you to try them out. And like I mentioned, in my last video for Sephora Playbox. Sephora does have like a trial size where you can try out the foundation. They have a Marcella water and they also have these water drops for like $22 and I'll put a link down below to that particular thing if I remember. You guys can check that out. I ordered that and I'm super excited to get that and try out the actual foundation stuff. I think it's just a BB cream but I've had this for like a month and a half now. Almost two months because it was from September Sephora box and I have not ran out. You only have to use such a tiny amount and it just covers your whole face. So this little 1.0 fluid ounces has lasted me almost a month and a half, which now we're going on to two months and I've used it every single day in the morning and in the night. So this stuff actually lasts for a really long time. I encourage you to try it out. You don't need to use a ton of it because it does go a long way and it also does tell you on the container to just use it sparingly and you really just need to use it sparingly. You don't need to use a lot. And also this UV um, fluid is it's amazing I like it I did a recent wear test on the Superstay better skin foundation from Maybelline I have been using this like I said every day for the last month and a half since I bought it because I wanted to really test it out and I must say that this is a really really nice foundation even for my oily skin I don't have any issues with it whatsoever I don't know if it's done anything in particular like it says that it may change your face but with that said I still do like this foundation so I will continue to wear it it's been something that I've been wearing for the last month and a half to test it out because I wanted to see what it was gonna do it didn't do much for me or maybe it has I just haven't noticed it but I do like this foundation and I highly suggest it if you're looking for something that's really really light coverage that has a, an SPF in it and I I feel like it's a really good foundation, especially for me with my oily skin. Okay, so recently I was watching Tati's videos, which everybody in the world probably watches Tati's videos, we all do. She picked up a ton and tons of dry shampoos and she was testing them out. And she recommended dry shampoo from the drugstore would be the Pantene Pro-V Styling Series uh, dry shampoo. So I was just like, I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna go and pick this up. And honestly, Tati was absolutely correct. This this is the best for my hair dry shampoo from the drugstores. I don't wash my hair every single day. I try to wash it maybe every two days to every three days depending on how oily my hair is. But I do wear my hair up a lot and when I do pull it down like I have today, this is second day hair, I have not put this on, but I figured I would go ahead and do like a live demonstration so you can see that my hair has a little bit of oils in it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it in here so you can see how it does add some body. I'm gonna let it set. I'll go ahead and just wait for a minute. So what I like about this particular dry shampoo is that it does add body to your hair. If you have thick, straight hair, this does add some body to your hair. It does have a little bit of a white cast, but you can totally brush that out and I will show you that here in a minute. But once you spray it in there, you know, you rub it in just like that to get all the oils out. It smells super good. It does, it smells really, really good. Whenever I have it in my hair, my husband's always smelling my hair and he's just like, your hair smells so good. Once you get all that out, do you see how much body it just added to my hair? See like the difference it does? It doesn't have, leave like a white cast of my hair. That's just gray hair because I haven't dyed my hair. It's just, it's a really, really good dry shampoo and it's my new favorite dry shampoo so i do feel like that tati did give us a really good suggestion on this and honestly for the most part whenever she suggests something i try it out to see if it works for me and most of the times like nine times out of ten the things that she suggests do really work for me so i really really like this i strongly suggest you try this out for a dry shampoo you can see the difference of my hair right away how it did like give me a little bit more body in my hair so totally suggest you try this out and see what you guys think about it let me know if you do it does not make your hair feel gritty or anything like that it's just it's just really nice so all right the next thing 
for the month I think this is the last thing for the month too is cinema secrets pro cosmetic cleaning brush stuff so you spray this on your brushes after you put makeup on let me go ahead and get a dirty brush here so I can demonstrate that for you so this is just my foundation brush I'm gonna go ahead and spray it so you basically just spray it on your brush you take a clean towel and you just rub all of the makeup off of it so I like this because recently just you know decided to keep all of my clean brushes in a little bag and then just pull out the ones for the, the week that I'm going to use and that way I'm not like randomly just picking brushes and then have like a pile of dirty brushes. All of my clean brushes I keep in a baggie like this or in a little container like this and then as the weeks go by the ones that I've been using I you know wash put them in the baggie, pull out the second set, and then use those ones, which has made my life a lot easier instead of having them all in one little area, and then I have to clean like 60 to 70 brushes all at one time. That's time consuming and annoying, and I've decided not to do that no more. So, let me show you how super clean that got. So look at that. Just by spraying that, it got super clean, which is amazing. I believe it has a little bit of an alcohol base in it, so it will sanitize your brushes. There we go, super clean. It works really well. It doesn't have an oily base to it, so you can use your brushes right away. And has really helped out with cleaning my brushes in the middle of the cleaning of my brushes. So, I think that is everything that I have for my favorites of this month. Let me know what your favorites are for October, what you've been using. If you liked any of the things that I tried out, if you have any questions about anything that I tried out, like this toner, um, which is fairly new to me as well, but I have been enjoying it. Or if you want to know more about what I think about the Dr. Josh stuff that I've been using, or the makeup remover for your eyes, or this panty stuff. So let me know exactly what you think. See how much body that added. I mean, honestly, like Tachi, thank you so much. Um, yeah, so that's everything I have for my monthly October favorites. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I shall see you guys next Saturday. Bye!